What we do in life? Echoes in eternity. He's the actor from Down Under who ended up on top. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our top 10 favorite Russell Crowe performances. I think I'm gonna like it here. Number 10, Robin Longstride, Robin Hood. Kicking off our list is Crowe's interpretation of a legendary hero. At 45 years old during filming, Crowe is the oldest actor to have ever played the role. But instead of weighing him down, his extra experience added authenticity to his performance as a disillusioned and war-heavy soldier turned freedom fighter. Not only that, but his casting also meant that fine acting balanced out the film's larger-than-life action. Number 9. Captain Jack Aubrey, Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World Shot almost entirely on water, this historical naval epic features Crow as a British captain who's ordered to destroy or capture a French privateer ship. The star brings charm, confidence, and a deep sense of authority to his characterization, and because of this, he earned a Golden Globe nomination. Crow completely submerged himself in the part, by visiting nautical museums, and by voluntarily learning to play the violin. Number 8. Sid 6.7 Virtuosity He's a menacing piece of artificial intelligence and the main foe to Denzel Washington. With this unique and villainous role, Crow is tasked with portraying a rogue police training simulation that's programmed with the character traits of countless mass murderers. This fish out of water, or should we say AI in the real world story, challenges him to portray multiple personalities and give the most over the top performance of his career. Number 7. Detective Richie Roberts, American Gangster Crow goes up against Denzel again, but this time he's the good guy. He portrays the real-life detective who's dedicated to bringing down a drug kingpin, which means he's stubborn, ethical, and smart enough to know the score. Crow's character clashes with a department full of corrupt cops, but always refuses to give in to temptation. Few actors could make a mere face-to-face -face conversation so captivating. You know what? You can do whatever you want to do. So it don't mean nothing to me for you to show up tomorrow morning with your head blown off. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, Frank. Get in line. That one stretches around the block, too. Number 6. Ben Wade, 310 to Yuma. You all spared no expense this time, Byron. I gotta say, though, it's probably cheaper just to let me rob the damn thing. Returning for a more subdued and complex bad guy performance, Crow plays a gang leader who's taken prisoner. As the West's most skilled gunman, Crow is also a refined robber and murderer who draws, reads, philosophizes, and is much smarter than those around him. This makes his interactions with Christian Bale's protagonist bittersweet, as Crow finds his equal and gets a taste of Stockholm Syndrome. You know, squeezing that watch won't stop time. Number 5. Jim Braddock, Cinderella Man This is another role inspired by a real-life story. Crow earned another Golden Globe nod by playing a poor Irish-American fighter in the 1920s who becomes the unlikely heavyweight boxing champ. Complete with a convincing New Jersey accent and the physicality of an aging athlete with arthritis, Crow makes us believe the film's true fairy tale premise as he depicts a man who's fighting to provide for his family. I went on public assistance. I signed on at the relief office. They gave me $19. I need another $18.38 so I can pay the bill and get the kids back. You know me well enough to know if I had anywhere else to go, I wouldn't be here. Number four, Officer Wendell Bud White, LA Confidential. 
It was this neo-noir tale of 1950s police corruption that transformed Crow from an unknown to a major Hollywood draw. To study for his part as an amoral LAPD cop, Crow trained with a dialect coach and watched vintage police training films. I don't give a rat's ass what they call you. Now keep your head down. The result is a beefy policeman who violently punishes woman beaters and plants evidence. But that's what makes this role memorable. His concern for the victims goes ahead of ethics or due process. Who in the hell are you? Ghost of Christmas past. Did you dance with the man for a change? What are you, some kind of smart ass? <laughs> Number three, Jeffrey Wigand, The Insider. This tour de force sees Crow play the real-life scientist turned whistleblower who went up against Big Tobacco, and for his work he earned an Oscar nomination. Not only does this film again showcase our star's knack for accents. Do you have a history of emotional problems, Mr. Wigand? Yes, yes I do, yes. I get uh, extremely emotional when assholes put bullets in my mailbox. It also underscores Crow's ability to embody a man who sacrifices everything to do the right thing, even if that does mean getting more than a few gray hairs from stress and paranoia. You fought for me? You manipulated me into where I am now, staring at the Brown and Williamson building. It's all dark except the 10th floor. That's the legal department. That's where they f with my life. Number two, John Nash, A Beautiful Mind. That could be a mathematical explanation for how bad your tie is. <laughs> Crow transforms into a mathematical genius who's obsessed with his own legacy for this impressive, Oscar-nominated role. He gives a masterful performance in this biographical drama and captivates us with his increasing loss of sanity as a man caught in the grip of paranoid schizophrenia that deepens over several decades. Crow convincingly goes the distance with the part like few else would. I don't exactly know what I'm required to say in order for you to have intercourse with me, but could we assume that I've said all that? I mean, essentially, we're talking about fluid exchange, right? So could we just go straight to the sex? Oh, that was sweet. Have a nice night, asshole. Number one, Maximus Decimus Meridius, Gladiator. Taking the top spot on our list is the picture that won Crow an Academy Award for Best Actor. In a stark departure from his other roles, he plays a soldier who's trying to avenge his family while trapped within the brutality of the Roman arena. The cinematic grandeur of the film is matched only by Crow's intense and believable portrayal of a man with nothing left to lose. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the North, general of the Felix Legions, loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Do you agree with our list? Are you not entertained? Which Russell Crowe performance is your favorite? For more great top tens, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. You know, I hadn't actually finished yet. Ooh.